abuse these people, to abuse someone. You would resist it. So it's important that we realize that, okay, first of all, let me just take one after the other. The person that called and said, your children should not go and be begging for marks and everything. There's something that I see. I've never been to an American or um, university, yes. but we watch movies. They go and meet their lecturer. Okay, this happened, blah, blah, blah. Can we redo it? Can we do something? You are supposed to be able to have that conversation with your lecturer. It's supposed to be normal. You have a, a conversation with your lecturer about your, your marks, about your, yeah. your work that you have done. Mm. So it should, not be now, it, it should now not become a place where Nigerian lecturers now make it a place. Oh, she came to meet me. It is okay to go and meet your lecturer and discuss your marks okay, and let me discuss take your exam. Let me take this call. I'll come to you, Sakwe. Thanks for calling. Are you still there? Yeah, I'm there. I'm there. Right, Chuk. Chuk is my name. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I think uh, I've been a lecturer. I've lectured wow. in private and public uh, schools. So um, I'm, I think I'm the right person to talk about it. Please you know, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's more about in a public school mm. than private school. Yeah. You know, that's it. But the problem comes from both the lecturer and the students. You know, yeah. So it's not an NGO thing. So forget about the NGO thing solving the problem. You know, the, the solution to the problem is the school has a law that any lecturer that does this. So when you bring in NGO, you're wasting your time because NGO too can compromise. So let's forget about NGO things. So, so let's tell ourselves the truth. You know, so it's a problem that can be solved within the school, you know, not outside the school. That's the issue. So in private school, it is more, it is difficult. You know, and another important thing, please, let's have this in mind, you know. Lecturers go after the students that don't know anything. The first class students, lecturers don't go after them. They do. So they we do. should they try to they re do. reorient our students to read their books well. So because no lecturer goes after in every class. At least ask Nima. In every class, you know the students that are doing well <laughs> and the students that are not doing well. All right, Chooks, can I ask you a question? Since you've been a lecturer, have you ever been attracted to any of your students or have any student come to you? Seduced you in any way? Two different questions. Yes, a student, a student has reported me to the deputy dean that okay. I told her that if she, she didn't agree that she's going to fail. Unfortunately for the student, the, we, I went to the, the, the deputy dean and eventually discovered that I'm not even teaching their, I'm not even teaching their class. I wasn't even teaching their class. So how will you fail a student that you're not even teaching yeah. the class? The student eventually came to me to apologize when I was teaching other students right. one day. So that's why I say it's from both the students and the lecturer. There right. is law. So students can go to the, DSA, uh, the student affairs. Right. There, there is a law there. But the problem is that you don't talk to other lecturers because if you talk to other lecturers, lecturers will team up against the students. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, Let yeah, me take a break. When I come back, we'll talk to Sokma. Take this down very fast. Yeah. <laughs> Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. Thanks for staying with us. So let me come to talk real quick. Come it is extremely irritating for mm. any human being to give excuse for an adult. So any lecturer, there is no underage lecturer. Every lecturer is an adult in custody of young minds and young children. Mm -hmm. So if for any reason that child is impulsive and comes to meet you naked, the expectation is you are an adult. It plays into the narrative that men are dogs, they are controlled by their body, they cannot, visual. They can't, they, their visual, everything they see, they'll just follow. They are adults and they are human beings and they can control their impulses. Every lecturer that is found guilty of any sexual immorality should be punished by everybody. That's it. So it's good that we're so we have to, like, I'm going to, I'll, 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 let's take a few tweets, but I would like our guests to mm -hmm. just tell us, hopefully in a nutshell, Okay, what on. students can do, what you can do for students to help them when they're in this situation? Um, well, at the moment, there's a bill in the National Assembly. Okay. Let's start from there. Okay. And um, it went through first reading in 2016. Hmm. Yes. And I think it's all politics and oh. uh, it's sponsored by Omar Gege, the popular Omar Gege. So I th mm. we, we're, we're going to... We've been talking with him to see how we can push on the bill. Perhaps it's going to be the next um, assembly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The next assembly. What's because this, this bill exactly? What does it say? The bill is simply about sex for marks. What you know, it, it says from two year to five year, including winking to a student. 
Okay. Winking to a student. If mm -hmm. a lecturer winks to a student, yeah. you're guilty of an offense. Exactly. You have to have a camera, <laughs> CCTV cameras. We cannot. When is the student, when the lecturer finally is able to establish that this student is behaving improperly and is, you know, is making offers at me, or what happens is be covering that I, as I well? Think, I think that's, that's cover, mm -hmm. that will cover it. But again, I, they have a lot of fine-tuning to do with mm -hmm. the bill, so mm -hmm. we want to get involved with the fine-tuning, mm -hmm. and hopefully the distinguished senator will let us be part of it and we'll take it off. Austino says there's also sex for promotion in the workplace. Women are super victimized in the Nigerian society. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, some women use what they have to get what they want. And, you know, they want, as one of your guests said, then uh, Mary is saying they are, um, to Miriam, there are young ladies in tertiary institutions who openly flirt and really want to date their lecturers because they just like him. I saw that happen. There are some cute time. lecturers, really, really ah, handsome lecturers. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the argument, I've had, I've had, I've had that too. conversation in the past where there are young lecturers and, and you're an adult, you're over 18, you're 21, mm -hmm. and you're, you're, so is it appropriate? That's a completely different show. Mm. We'll bring it exactly. up another day. Is it, it, is it appropriate to date your lecturer? Yeah. Yeah. That's a different show. So bring it up. Let's take a few more tweets. Uh, Victor Aldo says, Thank God the female lecturers that were in my department were already in their late 60s. <laughs> their sexual <laughs> faculties were already on permanent sabbatical. So we need not worry. Um, Victor Aldo also said that, you could all, no, oh, sorry, I didn't like, I don't. That there was me. something okay. that one of our already says, says, lecturers frustrate certain students on mm -hmm. purpose and won't get, let them graduate. This very OAU boy was, was a failing, rep. was a class rep, failing one course over and That's over again. Rep. They have to run have offended someone. The university system needs to reform because lecturers think that they are some sort of gods to be worshipped. Right. No, no, they are not. The lecturers are not. And the truth is that some students don't actually know how things are. Ah, in the system, university. Yeah. Like somebody said in the audience that a, a dean or HOD, mm, HOD. Yeah. the board doesn't stop at his table. Mm -hmm. There's the vice chancellor, mm -hmm. there's the school board, the senate, mm -hmm. the senate and all the that. So if you actually, your script, your exam script is actually not the lecturer's property. property. Yeah. It's the university's property. Each faculty so, has an exam board. Exactly. So you yeah. can challenge Right. That and then take it Unfortunately, on. Unfortunately, we're out of time. But thank I you very know. much. So I hope we, I hope people know that they have options and this is our conversation. Um, that's all we can take on the show. We'd like to thank Mr. Tijani for the drinks we got today for our audience. Mm. Yemi yeah, Legends. Yemi yeah, Legends. Yeah. Our personal person. Our personal person. Nice. small Not tops for order. our guests. And cream slices as usual. Our personal person too. Cream yeah, slices. Cream slices. Send us a cake. My you are audience, you're enjoying too much, you. <laughs> I don't understand. Cake, yeah, drink, small chops, drinks, water. Go. Only you. Anyways, oh, thank you so much. And Ramata, lovely neck yeah. piece. So I just want to give a shout out to Ramata. One second, guys, please. One second. Ramata is an intern here, and she does this beat, and she does it. I mean, so look at it. So She's we so need resourceful. We just need we young need people. We need to encourage young people. Do a business, and obviously you can get up on That's beautiful. Talent. Thank you very much. That's all we can take. Have a fabulous day. We'll see you tomorrow.